Hi, I'm Silas Dudley with Bag and Nut. I'm here to give you a few pointers that are going to help you to get the most out of your stab and nut. To make sure you make the best use of your time, you want to completely fill your tines before ejecting your nuts. The best way to achieve this is to think of your collector as having two sides. Fill the first side, spin it in 180 degrees, then fill up the second before you eject your nuts. When collecting nuts, you want to land the tines that are squares to the ground directly on top of the nut. For example, when you reach out to get a nut that's far away from your body, you end up landing the tines that are on the end of the tine row directly on top of the nut, as these are the squares to the ground. And when you collect one that's just off the end of your feet, you'll land the center of the tine rows on the nut, as these will be the squares to the ground. When you find yourself collecting in sandy or really grassy conditions, give your stab and nut a firm, wiggling, pressing motion. This will help drive those tines down and around those nuts that are in those hard to reach areas. It's a little bit confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll hardly miss a nut. Remember, your stab and nut is just like any other tool. The more you use it, the better you're gonna get. If you have any more questions, visit us on the web or feel free to give us a call.